Hi everyone, Paul here with New Egg TV, and we're here at the Exchange in downtown Los Angeles. And we've been invited here by AMD for a special event. They're holding a launch party for the 6000 series of video cards. So we're down here, we're gonna take a look around at all the little booths they have set up. We're gonna see some of the new features of the card. We're gonna try to get some interviews with some of the folks around here so we can learn a little bit more about this new graphics card and uh, what it can do. So why don't you come with me? We're gonna take a look around. All right, guys, I now have Rick Bergman. He is the Senior Vice President of AMD. And uh, Rick, thanks for having us here. Just a question, upcoming year for 2011, what does AMD have planned? Hey, we got some great new products, both graphics and microprocessors. You're gonna see AMD's first fusion processor, so that's a combination of the CPU and GPU. And then we just gave a teaser today of some of the new graphics that we have, but we got a whole new family coming early in 2011. So along with the 6850 and 6870, you guys have a whole whole new set of cards coming out? Oh yeah, you'll see 6900s and you'll see 6500s and 6300s and a, a bunch of new uh, cards for, for every budget. Excellent. Uh, on the processor line, I know you guys are doing really well with the six core processors. Uh, what do you have planned for that? Are you going to expand it beyond six cores? Or are you moving more, uh, for maybe more speed with the six cores that you have right now? Well, later in 2011, you'll see us move up to eight cores with a brand new x86 uh, architecture. Awesome. It'll be a big, big step up in performance. So we're real excited about that one as well. Awesome. We're definitely looking forward to that. Thanks a lot for... Uh Thank you. All right, guys, I'm here with Matt Skinner from AMD. And uh, Matt, thank you very much for inviting us here today. I just wanted to ask you, for the new 6800 series video card, what are the top three reasons I should get a 6800 series? Top three reasons, here we go. Number one, second generation DX11 for faster, better performing gaming. There you go. Number two, uh, increased iFinity uh, performance uh, and ease of use. Uh, number three is new video with our universal video decoder, uh, which brings Blu-ray 3D to reality. Awesome. So you've done a lot for the Blu-ray and as more specifically the 3D yeah. uh, with the 6800 series. Uh, what what can you what more can you get with the 3D uh, going with the 6800 series? Blu-ray 3D? Yeah. Well now you can watch Blu-ray 3D movies. Okay. Um, and content's coming soon so that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing is uh, from a 3D point of view is stereoscopic 3D. Okay. Um, so you can play stereoscopic games um, and one of the things we're really pushing is an open standard for that so that anybody can, uh, nice. can, can play. Nice. Um, and what can we expect to see performance-wise out of the 6800 series? Uh, we have a, there's a 6870 coming out, right? 6870 that... and 6850. And 6850. So how would you compare the performance of the 6870 to, say, the 5870, the last generation card? Well, actually, this, they're actually at different price points. The 6800 series is priced around 200. 5800 series is actually a little higher price. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So this, so for around $200, 6870 a little bit above, 6850 a little bit below, um, you've got the best performance at that price point. Okay. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm here with Jin from XFX, the premier partner of AMD. And uh, he's brought along a working Radeon HD 6850 video card. Right here, it's, a, it's like a one gig model. Right. And uh, what can you tell us about this video card? Well, uh, mainly it's, it's based, the, you can tell that the heat sink's very unique. It's based off the 5970. I know, Paul, you have some personal experience reviewing the limited edition one. He got his stolen and whatnot. But um, you'll see that it's got the uh, 5970 Black Edition style fan. Uh, just like everything from XFX, it's uh, very uh, gamer-esque, edgy. You'll see uh, the little uh, venting out there. Overall, it's got all the great technologies that uh, XFX AMD has to offer with DirectX 11, uh, 3D stero uh, stereoscopic ready, and Ifinity. Uh, you can tell it's got the two uh, DVI ports, HDMI and uh, DisplayPort. So uh, this, got, this will be available to you guys soon. Just check it out. Look out for it.
And I wanted to, look, can we get a close up of the vent right here? Check out the vent on this side. I just, Is it straight? Uh, right I, I really like the little logo there. That's awesome. All right, so there you go, guys. First look at a new 6850 uh, video card produced by XFX. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Jim. All right, guys, I'm here with Kurt Erickson. He is the Senior Marketing Director with Sapphire. So, Kurt, I understand you guys have a couple SKUs coming out uh, featuring the 6870 as well as the 6850. Uh, what's your goal for these cards? Who are you aiming them at? Well, the 6850 is kind of a mid-range product, and the 6870 is going to be more of a lower but you know performance product okay. so they're both ranger affordable products with all of the affinity and it has a new parallel compute and direct compute and a lot of the features that the, the 5870 had but at a, at a little bit better price point and and with a lot of the features and one of the major features we have is stereoscopic the 3d stereoscopic so these support you know video gaming and 3d stereo and uh, HDMI 1.4 is another thing it has. We have a cable in the box of both of the products, which is... So you're actually including that 1.4 cable HDMI in the box? Yes, yes. So people can set up for 3D? Yeah, for right 3D. Box. That's right. And for, you know, just just 1.4, that supports 3D stereoscopic. Awesome. And also, too, you don't have to go to, and buy a, a, a 3D cable. Yeah. And also DP 1.2, which is a new version of DisplayPort. That was also in the box, so... So definitely a lot to look forward to coming up on Sapphire. And uh, check out Newegg.com for the Sapphire uh, AMD Radeon 6850, 6870 products. Thanks a lot, Kurt. Thank you. All right, hi guys. Uh, I'm here with Jason and Marisol from uh, Butyl. They have a new software that uh, they're giving away for free right now. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, the software that you have? So the software is actually a plug-in to Windows Explorer that you can automatically tag your, your photos and then upload them directly to any cloud-based service. So what it takes is if you have 500 photos of somebody, we make it one click to automatically tag that person and then upload it to any site you want. So. Uh, Facial recognition and visual analysis technology. So it's made to work with like uh, social networking like Facebook? Yeah, exactly. We can actually take in your list of Facebook friends and albums and then automatically post them there. So the idea is that, you know, if you go out, you take 300 pictures, you can put them on your desktop, analyze them, then we automatically send it to the friends that are in them. It takes away the tagging, right? Tagging is the crappiest part of taking yeah, pictures. Exactly. Yeah, I have friends who spend hours and hours tagging pictures. So. We do it all at once. And uh, you guys have a website, people can go check it out? We do, it's www.butyl.com, B-I-E-W-D-L-E.com. It's kind of hard to say with the music, but... He is in Virginia. <laughs> he is in Virginia. All right, <laughs> it's Butyl, guys, check it out. All right, guys, I'm here with Paul Starry, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit more about this device that's right over here, which is the Virtual GT Advanced Motion Simulator. Now, um, so there's just several actual different pieces of hardware that are combined together. Yes, uh, we simulator. use the D-Box motion actuators, which we've added to our own frame. That's integrated onto a chassis. We've actually been selling that since 2003. Okay. And we've advanced the uh, state-of-the-art in simulation by adding professional pedals, various shifter options, four speedback wheels, uh, the idea is to get a deeper illusion that you're driving a real car. And we've accomplished that in spades here, and I think everybody agrees this is probably the most realistic simulator they've ever experienced. It definitely looks that way. And part of that is the audio system, which we custom designed and built ourselves. Oh, okay. And it includes uh, virtually a home theater system shaped like a car, is how we describe it. So it gives you a deep illusion that you're in a race car. You feel the se sense of the space, that we have vibration on the pedals, the wheel, and on the seat. We have uh, four satellite speakers and a subwoofer, a nine channel, 500 watt power amplifier, custom audio processing on the, the vibration transducers. And you're using uh, the AMD graphics to power the, the three screens oh, that you yeah. have here? We, AMD is our primary video supplier for all of our 
video systems, and we're real excited about their 6000 series cards, because obviously the bigger and better the video is, the better the simulation is. So we're real happy to be associated with them on this product. Awesome. More depth, more immersion. And uh, why don't you take a look over here? Well, you have no idea the kind of horsepower it takes to run a screen like this. I mean, yeah. this is the oh, triple yeah. screen. It's huge. Uh, before AMD came out with iFinity, this was a dream. Yeah. So it's really been a blessing. So definitely great to have the AMD graphics in there to help uh, actually flesh that out.